Hello ladies and gentlemen, Hollow here and I want to talk about a issue that has been brought up a, a lot, you know, on YouTube, Twitch, Reddit, uh, just basically everywhere you can talk about Destiny. And that is the fact that Bungie has implemented a no radar in the competitive playlist, just blanketed, no radar, and competitive. And honestly, it's been met with both praise and criticism and arguments just abound. So of course, I'd like to offer my opinions and then fight everybody in the comments who disagrees. Ready? Let's fight. First off, I'm going to try to be as unbiased as I can be about all this. No radar makes it easier for me to flank and run off by my own, basically be a lone wolf, especially against a team of randoms. But against people who are communicating, it's really no different in my opinion. It only hurts the teams comprised of randoms who aren't on the comms. I understand that people say why play competitive if you don't want to win or team up with other people and I really I really do understand that. But solo queuing shouldn't be so discouraged in a casually competitive game like Destiny. For me, I feel like it hurts the overall experience and here are my main reasons why. Destiny has poor gameplay cues, such as audio notifications. They're poorly designed in Destiny. Supers are loud. You hear guns and abilities and, you know, footsteps. Not really. They're non-existent. There isn't really a distance. You can't really tell how far away anything is. And you have no real direction or warning about a threat in a game mode without a radar. And the time you have to react is drastically reduced and you're normally dead before you know what happened. And Bungie should work on this regardless if radar is gone or if it comes back because it's such an integral part of gameplay design in a PvP game that I just, I, I guess we just never noticed in Destiny 1. You know, it really feels like Destiny is built around the radar and I think that's why it's it's been such a hard time to adjust to it. Another issue in the competitive playlist is the lack of a control slash domination, capture the flag, or hell, any objective game mode. Players can basically just wander around the map and there's no set points of action or objective to fight over. There's, you know, no radar just adds to the cluster in those game modes that lack an OBJ. Also, to me, an objective game mode should be a core game type in a competitive playlist. TDM. You know, that, that belongs in the quick play playlist. Now this is one of those points that I feel can go either way. You either, you know, you're set thinking one way or you're set thinking the other way. And for me, at least, removing the radar slows down the game and actually discourages aggressive play. I feel like everybody is more apprehensive to run around. You would think, you know, not having a radar that you'd be hyper aggressive, flying around the map, doing whatever you want you know, flanking and all that jazz, but it really doesn't seem to do that, especially for the normal player. A, a skilled player, somebody with a higher skill ceiling, might be more aggressive and might take advantage of that, but overall it feels like it actually slows down the game. The person moving slowly basically gains more of an advantage by just, you know, crouching and hiding in corners and stuff than the person who is hyper aggressive who's flying around who might not be able to react to the kid sitting in the corner with a shotgun and that's you know a thing in every game also the spawning system is still jacked up it doesn't really help teams that are communicating when spawns are you know messed up and it really hurts teams that don't have the ability to be on comms if somebody's spawning literally behind you you literally just ran past that spot. He spawns up behind you, has a shield, and just you know melts you because you you the, the the spawn system is just so bad right now. And this is where I offer my suggestions. I, I don't think that you can criticize or create arguments without having a solution to them. So I would suggest that radar actually comes back, but in a nerf form. You lower the range you show up at, and I think you go from there. D1's radar was about two-thirds the range of what Destiny 2's radar is. If that's a reference point that uh, helps you guys, you know, visualize that in your head. Adjusting the audio cues and other gameplay mechanics, and I think you're on the right track to actually cleaning this up. Maybe take a page out of Halo's book and, you know, keep the radar, but if you crouch, you don't show up. 
You trade movement speed, you know, crouching as opposed to sprinting or even just regularly walking. You trade that movement speed for a reward of getting a crispy flank, you know, risk versus reward. I feel as though Destiny has somewhat lost its identity in the PvP side of things and needs to work on finding itself again. Destiny, to me, isn't a tactical shooter at all, but rather a crazy fun fast arcade arena type of shooter where you know your abilities and everything abound but they really need to to build on the gameplay mechanics audio cues all that stuff and they really need to refine what the competitive playlist is and think about the pros and cons of no radar versus radar in a casually competitive game like destiny you know people are lfging and stuff like that people want a solo queue I understand that there's a huge population to consider for every angle. I do. But to me, not having a radar in a game that feels like it's built around that radar in PvP just seems wrong. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any you know, suggestions, comments, leave them down below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I don't know if you can hear my AC. I apologize. Peace out.